Now that you know how to use the Media Manager to upload images, let's go ahead and play around with adding an image to an article or even to a module. Let's start with an article. The first thing we'll need to do is go into our Article Manager and select the page that we would like to insert the image onto. I'm going to insert my image into the Specials page. There are two ways to insert an image. One, you're able to insert an image on its own line, and your second option is to insert it in line with the text. So let's start by creating a new paragraph. We can place the cursor where we want the image to go, and we'll notice that once the cursor is where we would like the image, there's an image icon insert right here in the toolbar. Clicking on this will pop up a box. But as you can see, it's not going to give us a list of images. It's going to ask us to tell Joomla where the image is. That's not really helpful. So we don't want to do that. Below the article, there is an image box. Go ahead and click on that button. Now you'll see this looks very familiar to the Media Manager. And that's exactly where this box is pulling from. So if I want to insert the image that I uploaded, I can go into the folder that I created, I can click on the image, and I can click insert. And you'll see that the image appears now on its own line. Clicking on save, this will save the change, and I can now go back to my demo site, I can go to the specials page, and you'll see that the image is now live on the website. But let's say I don't like the look of this. I would like the text to wrap around the image. So here's how we do that. Place your cursor where you would like it to go. Whether you would like the image aligned to the left or to the right, you still need to place your cursor to the left. To make sure that makes sense, we're going to place the cursor over here next to the first word. I'm going to scroll down again to the image button. I'm going to click on the image I would like to insert, and before clicking insert, I'm going to go down to this drop down image float, and I can align it left, center, or right. So I'll go ahead and click left, and then click insert. Now you'll see that the image is to the left. Clicking on save, you'll see it doesn't look like it's wrapped quite correctly, but on the live site it will. So we can click save and return to the demo site and refresh. And you will see that it is now aligned to the left. So let's say I want the image to appear to the right. I'm going to place my cursor in the same location as I did for the left alignment. I will scroll down to see the image button. I will find the image that I want to upload. And instead of selecting left, I will select right and click insert. Now when I click save, I'll return to my demo site and refresh, and you'll notice that it appears nicely on the right. So it's very easy to insert an image into a page. In an upcoming video, we are going to be talking more about adding modules, and it is the same process for adding images to a custom HTML module as it is into an image. So we'll definitely cover that when we get there, but you'll be very familiar with that and we'll probably be a step ahead.